Hi my lovely viewers welcome to another episode on my channel Today I present you some of the most delicious yet nutritional food that we people of Odisha include in our diets These side dishes are so flavorsome that it will set one's heart on All the recipes so case today hail from Odisha They have nostalgia infused in it and it's a delight to see my kid enjoying the same old traditional food just as I did say what some 25 years back First on my list is aloo chokha or desi style mashed potatoes. Here I am using new potatoes or naya aloo. You generally get them in this season. Basically, they don't undergo any polishing and are more crunchy or crisper than the older ones. Cleaning is a task and so is the cutting. Well, it's all up to your personal choice. You can use the normal ones too. The difference that you will see in both is the later ones will be having kind of uh, more water content that makes them little slurry and the ones that I'm using now will be more textured. So choose accordingly. First, I will pressure cook the potatoes for four whistles. Add little salt to it. Not only it adds flavor to the potatoes, but also fastens the cooking process. Time to prepare rest of the ingredients while it gets cooked. I'm going to use half of this whole medium sized onion. We'll roughly dice them but before that I always prefer removing the white base of the onion. Finally chop the onions. I'm using a chopper. It makes the task easier. Take a pan, preferably a cast iron one. Add some oil. Add two whole red chilies splitted. Add handful of broken or round urad gola. Remember the oil should be medium hot as the chilies and urads will burn easily making the dish overwhelmingly bitter. The onion has to be cooked until it turns a little brown. It gives a very caramelized taste in every bite you take. Well, once the onions are done, add the mashed potatoes to the pan. Give a good mix so that it gives a layer to the potatoes. Add salt and little turmeric to this at this point. The potatoes get easily coated and absorb the flavors well. Remove it to a bowl. To take the dish to the next level, we add badhi. It's basically sun-dried urad batter. Lightly roast them on tawa and crush them with a pestle. Add at the top just before serving, else they tend to become soggy. This is one dish that every Odia people love to have, irrespective of the seasons. Now the next dish is one of my favorites. I have many nostalgic memories of my childhood. One is tied to this seasonal vegetable. When we had vegetarian days, we looked forward to this dish of maize. 
Both me and my brother would quickly take bath after returning from school and stand near the stove, instructing Mama to make it more crisper. It takes a little time to get cooked properly. We would wait there to take the one that's cooked more crisper. And suddenly the war between the siblings outsets. <laughs> I relived those beautiful moments again. Be very careful while separating the corn. Trick is first try to remove the one line. It will be little tough, but after this all will come out easily. I use the edges of the peeler to take the corns out from the base. And see the results. Using knife will be easy, but most of the corns stay on the stalk itself. Now, all you need to do is put them in a mixer and roughly grind them. Don't make a paste and don't add water. Corn already have moisture in them. Add chopped onions. Green chilies, it's optional now. Add all the dry masalas, haldi powder, red chilli powder, dhaniya powder and salt as per taste. To bind them, add rice flour. If it's not tight and dry, Add a uh, very little water or say just wet your hands and try to bring them together. I would recommend a cast iron pan as it brings the perfect crispness to the patties. Allow the oil to heat enough before adding the patties. Well to make the patties make small balls of the mixture and pat it. To make it as flat as you can and thin versions not thick as it won't get cooked. Don't overcrowd the pan. Cover and let it cook for 5 to 6 minutes on low flame. Flip and cook on the other side too. Just look at the color, the texture, the corn patties have developed. Do try this one out and let me know how it turned out. It's okay if you fail. You can share and I can help or guide you. Moving to the next one, I will be making banana stem chutney. To be honest, this was my first attempt to cut the stem. I was clueless which one was edible part and which one was not. My mother-in-law used to make it so I kind of didn't took much interest in preparing this. But I must admit, YouTube journey is turning out exciting and after every content I create and deliver, there is something that I feel confident of or I learn new things. I took help of my mother-in-law and then I found out I will come across these fibers each time I cut them. 
and those needed to be discarded. Seeing the labor work involved, I decided to go with half of the step. Once you cut them round, take an edged glass and just use the technique as you use it to cut the cabbages. Once they are chopped, pressure cook it for 3 to 4 whistles adding salt. Well, while it gets cooked, I will make the flavored curd ready for which you will need half inch of ginger, 4 to 5 curry leaves, 2 green chilies, more or less depending upon your taste bud, roughly crust them. Take a bowl, add the crust mixture, keep a little to top it, pour half packet of curd. Add generous amount of hing and salt. Whisk it with a mixer. Add the banana stems to the mixture once they cool down and delicious flavored banana stem is ready. If cooked properly, they taste best and are rich in vitamin B6. It has a lot of iron content that helps you if you have low hemoglobin. Are you gonna try this? Well, the last one is the Poisag. Poisag or the Malabar spinach is a good source of calcium which aids in bone strengthening. The high vitamin C of this sag is a great way to build immunity and ward off infections. Apart from just the health benefits, it tastes best when cooked in this way. My girl eats 3-4 of them in one go. Separate the leaves from the stalk. We don't discard the stalks, we cook them in mustard paste gravy. We'll try to bring that recipe here someday, but for this, we need only leaves. Wash and clean them thoroughly. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe Layer the leaves and chop them It's easy this way We brushed and we braided Dandelions and shoes It was a mutual arrangement We both saw in two Chop onions, not finely though. I'll chop green chilies. It's optional. If you are serving to kids, I would suggest to add it later. Haldi powder. Zira powder, chili powder, nothing else. Keep it as simple as you can. And to bind them, you will need rice flour. Add salt. It will leave water and then here all the hard work goes in. Even still I remember knowing she could feel it too. 
keep kneading them with your hands until they all come together. She had a star on forehead. Then the cooking process for corn tawa fry and this is same. Make patties and fry them both the sides. No need to cover and cook, but yes, keep the flame slow. It takes 7 to 8 minutes to be done. Never had to use a bit. These recipes are easy and quick to make. It fills the gap of a full meal. Every state has their signature traditional cooked cuisines. I'm trying my best to bring into your eyes. Do share, comment, like the video and don't forget to try them once in your kitchen. I'm doing my part. Please help this channel grow. See you all soon then. Bye bye.